Today, I want to show you a powerful way to find common values between two columns in Excel. For this example, I'm using two simple lists, but this method will still work even if there are a million rows. First, I need to make sure Excel recognizes these as tables. Hit OK. Do the same thing for table B. Now I want to bring these tables into Power Query. I can click anywhere on table A, go to the data tab, click on get data from table slash range. We have our table in Power Query. Let me rename this table name. Now I want to bring in table B. So let me go to close, click on close and load to. For now, I want to keep this as a connection only. Click OK. Here's our Power Query connection to table A. To bring in table B, I'm going to right click this time on any one of the elements. We can see that the same option is available on the menu. Select it. And here's our table B. Let me rename. Okay, now we are ready to do the intersection. I'm going to select table A, go over to Merge Queries, click on the drop down and select Merge Queries as New. Table A has already been selected up top. Let me select table B. Notice that the OK button is currently grayed out. That is because we need to select which column to compare between the two tables. I'm going to select column A, compare against column B. Under join kind, in order to do a intersection, we need to select the inner join. Click OK. And here is our intersection table. We can see that the results are correct and we don't need the second column. It's going to show the same thing. Let me show it. It is the same thing. So let me delete this column. Before I delete it, I don't need the Power Query step that expanded the column. Let me remove it. Now I'm going to remove the column. Right now, the table doesn't have any duplicates. But if there are, we can easily remove them by going into Remove Rows and select Remove Duplicates. Now that the intersection is done, we can bring this back to Excel. Click on Close and Load. Close and Load to. Hit OK. We can see the intersection table is in this new sheet right here. We can see that table B has also been brought back to Excel. We don't actually need this. Let me delete it. Now, if I want to show the intersection, say, in this cell, let me first delete the sheet. Go over to Queries and Connection here. Right-click on the intersection. Select Load to. I want to load the data into a table into my current sheet at cell E1. Hit OK. And here is our intersection. If I want to rename this column, I'm going to right click on intersection, go to edit. This brings me back to Power Query. And then I can rename the column. Click on close and load. This will update automatically. Now what happens if my tables change? Let me add a new element. So now there should be an intersection on number 11. I'll go over to the Data tab, click on Refresh All, and the number 11 shows up on our intersection table. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing.